We may not like to do it, but for a lot of us, the only way to find enough new customers each year is picking up the telephone and calling folks who don't know us. Cold calling is the hardest task, but warm calling is no walk in the park. Historically, this dying for dollars is considered the painful part of the sales cycle. It is a major reason why a lot of folks miss their quota or outright fail. Let me show you how to make even the most difficult of calling programs, cold calling, less painful and more productive at the same time. The first half of the sales cycle is about dialing folks, getting them on the phone for a conversation, and setting an appointment or making the sale. And this is the toughest business process in the sales cycle. But it's just that. It's a business process to understand and then to master. Every business process, and this one is no exception, is measured in two ways, efficiency and effectiveness. For telephone prospecting, efficiency is all about generating conversations with decision makers. The metric is the ratio of conversations to dials. Effectiveness is converting those conversations into appointments, and the metric is the ratio of appointments to conversations. Most of us have had effectiveness training, a class on how to convert conversations into appointments. So now let's look at the reason most folks fail, an inability to be efficient at generating lots of conversations. There are three steps to take to be efficient. First, we need a plan. In the vernacular of process, we need a best practice that will generate the most conversations possible out of the number of dials we can make each week. Second, we need a list of highly qualified targets to pursue using that best practice. And third, we must go quickly through the list and do exactly according to our best practice. If we do not take these three steps, we will not be efficient. So let's take a look at each of these, starting with best practice. A best practice has two elements, a framework and messaging for the framework. This is a very popular framework of four dials once every week for four weeks. If there's no conversation generated, this target would be recycled several months down the road to be pursued again using the same best practice. The messaging for this best practice is a voicemail to leave if you don't reach the target, plus a companion email, since we often have or can obtain an email address. And these messages can be different for each call. Voicemails do get returned, and even a small number of returns have a huge impact on our metrics. Without well-defined frameworks and messaging, we're just winging it and you cannot wing it and win. Now, let's focus on our list. The size of the list is largely a function of how many appointments we will need each year to keep the pipeline full. And where will they come from? We would like for all of our appointments to come from warm sources. But unless they do, cold calling is our safety net. It is proactive and is totally under our control. And since the business process for any pursuit is basically the same, we should build a best practice for each type of target so that we can pursue each one properly. If we convert more of our warm leads into appointments, we will reduce the need to do as much cold calling. Now, it makes perfect sense to have a best practice and it makes perfect sense to build a high-quality list. It has always made sense. The biggest challenge to efficient prospecting has historically been our inability to be organized and disciplined enough to execute a best practice quickly and correctly. After all, we are often chasing dozens or hundreds of targets simultaneously. Of this list of activities, we want to spend all of our time on number six, the telephone, making calls. These other activities, the navigation from call to call, 
is where the pain of telephone prospecting comes from. The pain in telephone prospecting is a physical pain. We will stop the pain with a simple to use web-based software application specifically designed for telephone prospecting. The software is called Clips and you prospect using only two screens and a mouse. The first screen keeps you organized and makes it easy to hit your calling goals each week. If you consistently hit your calling goals each week, you cannot help but succeed. The second screen makes it a no-brainer to take the correct step in your best practice, including which voicemail to leave and which email to send, and then move on to the next target in three mouse clicks. To quantify this claim of high efficiency, let's do a benchmark to measure the physical aspects of prospecting. The number of times you click your mouse, the number of screens you view to navigate through a best practice, and the amount of time it takes to do that. In this benchmark, we will call 10 people in a row using the best practice we saw earlier. We do not connect with anyone, so we will leave a voicemail and send an email. With clips specifically built for prospecting, the number of clicks is 42. CRMs being built for another purpose take hundreds of clicks. Clips users work all 10 targets with 11 screens. CRMs in the hundreds. But the real payoff is speed, less than 20 minutes. This is how Clips reduces the pain and increases productivity at the same time. Peter Drucker famously said, what's measured improves. And Clips turns those simple mouse clicks into accurate, credible reports automatically to measure both efficiency and effectiveness. These are the two metrics we need to improve our prospecting process. Keep your CRM. It is counterproductive for telephone prospecting, but great for what it is built for. But see for yourself how easy it is to become highly efficient. Visit our website and take a sample class on the two screens and a mouse. See how easy it is to pursue every name on your list perfectly, leaving the right voicemails and sending the right emails at the right time, every time. Telephone prospecting is the only sure way to control your own destiny. So get it right and let clips show you how.